This morning on the Road Show Kitchen, thanks to Discover Newport for bringing in Newport Cooks. Chef Deja Hart is here with the delicious chowder recipe that's going to brighten up your week. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. Not just any chowder, though, because we that's know, right. especially around here <laughs> in the summertime, everyone has a different take on Absolutely. chowder. Absolutely. What are you making today? We're making a smoked mussel chowder uh, with Red's hot sauce today. Ooh, yes. it's got a little kick to that. It does. Will you take us through all of the ingredients? Absolutely. So we're going to start by sauteing some onions and a little butter. Mm -hmm. uh, and then while that's sweating, we'll get started on our um, quahog juice or clam juice. Okay. And some uh, Narragansett Bay Little Necks from Gardner's Wharf Seafood. Mm. And we'll get those sweating down with a little bit of white wine as well. And then uh, we'll move on to adding in our garlic and our celery. And then we'll form a little roux uh, with a little flour here. Uh, and then we'll finish with a little thyme, bay leaves. Uh, we'll have some red potatoes. And then, of course, our beautiful smoked mussels here, which wow. are absolutely amazing. They're from the, uh, the local catch, and they actually smoke them themselves. Mm -hmm. They're right out of Point Judith. And then we'll just finish it up with a little dry sherry, deglaze the pan, uh, add out the Red's hot sauce, which I actually uh, make and bottle myself at the Newport Ki Cook's Kitchen. Really? Yes. And Impressive. <laughs> Thank you. And then uh, just a touch of cream to finish, mm -hmm. and we'll throw a few green onions on there just to top it off. Nice. I like that you're saying just a touch of cream. This isn't one that is yes. a, a super creamy chowder. Right. But we, Not too variations. Heavy. Exactly. And I'll actually talk a little bit about how you can make this a dairy-free version as well, Ooh. if you like. Very nice. Yeah. Okay. Gather up your ingredients. Chowder's on the menu this morning. We'll get cooking in just a bit. Thanks so much. Yeah, Newport Cooks is here thanks to Discover Newport, and we are making chowder, but it's a smoked mussel chowder. I know I've never yes. had that type before. You know, seafood, clam, right. Rhode Island, Manhattan, New England, whatever Corn, it might be. All kinds of different chowders, I yes. know. So this one I actually created because uh, I, I don't like to use bacon. So many chowders use bacon as a base mm -hmm. for their chowders, which is great. Bacon is wonderful, but um, if you want to take the meat out of the equation, but you still want that nice smokiness, and that good sure. flavor and that good meatiness. Dry the smoked the mussels. mussels are amazing. And they will give you kind of that flavor profile mm -hmm. um, without using the meat. Great, okay, so let's get started. Okay, great. So we're gonna start with uh, just a little bit of butter. Mm -hmm. And pan preheated here. If you can grab those onions for me. You got it. We're gonna go ahead and toss those right in. And you said we're just gonna sweat these out. That's right. So basically right. soften them up. Exactly. Get those going a little bit. Nice and translucent. I'll let you be my stirrer here. Oh, sure. Okay. Sous chef. Exactly. I love I love how you came to the idea of creating this smoked mussel chowder because, yeah. like you said, you like what bacon pr can provide exactly. to the chowder, but sometimes you just want to avoid it. And that's what I like about cooking. You just, there's so much, you can be so creative. Absolutely. You really can't get anything so wrong. So many variations. <laughs> now, another variation would be if you wanted to make a dairy-free chowder, mm -hmm. you could use the Farm True Ghee. Uh, they just rebranded from Farm to Gold, but it's a, an amazing product, and it's um, made from 100% grass-fed cow's milk, mm -hmm. but it is completely dairy-free because they heat it and take away all the milk solids. Been hearing a lot so. about that ghee over the past yeah, couple years, even product. celebrities and putting it in coffee mm -hmm. or something, whatever it might be. Well, it gives you that nice buttery flavor mm -hmm. without the, the dairy. Basically. Nice and smooth. And it's a healthier fat for you too. Beautiful. All right, so while that's uh, that's going there, that's sweating down, we're going to move Ooh. on to our, I know it already smells good, right? <laughs> we're going to move on to our uh, clams here. So okay. we already have our clam juice boiling away. We're just mm -hmm. going to add a little bit of white wine as well. Yum. Put all right. in there and go ahead and add all of the clams. This is a great start. We're going to add all these clams. A couple things going on Cover the stove up. right now. Let those open up and when we come back, we'll finish our chowder. Back in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning, we are thrilled, we are elated that Discover Newport has brought us, oh, I'm not lying, Chef Deja Hart. She's from Newport Cooks, making smoked mussel chowder. How's it going? Great. Thank you. I rounded the corner to come in here, and the uh, lovely smell of chowder lovely was smell, wafting yeah. in my direction, meaning you've been hard at work. Where That's are you right. here in the process? So basically, and what I'm going to have you help me with right here... She's is entrusting me <laughs> with a very important job. That's right. We're going to chop some clams. <laughs> Here, so Everyone watching right now is saying, what is she thinking? <laughs> but I'll do my best. Oh, you'll be good. That's perfect. Did so, you hear that? Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> so we uh, went ahead and steamed our clams. 
And we have this beautiful clam broth that we went ahead and uh, strained out there. So that's ready to go. Throw into our like, chowder. So I feel like I didn't do anything. Oh. Is it because I have no muscle strength? Uh, that's probably Probably yeah. what it is. I should Sorry. really get in there, right? And just... <laughs> little elbow grease. Little elbow that's grease. Right. All right. Uh, so you so do that, I'll do this. On that. All right. And then uh, we, you can see our onions and our... I went ahead and added our garlic and okay. our celery. It's nice and translucent now. Sure. So that's ready to go. We're and you add, have strained the broth? We've strained the broth, yes. And we're going to go ahead and add our flour to create a roux. Okay. A little bit of that butter there. Fantastic. Or again, you can use the, the ghee as well in place of butter if you uh, prefer. The ghee. And as you do that, talk to us about Newport Cooks. Absolutely. I was learning a little during the break. Yeah, so uh, Newport Cooks is a cooking school for uh, adults <laughs> and children. Enroll me now. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm really excited. Well, right now we're in the middle of um, Mary Weaver, the owner of Newport Cooks. Yes. She's in the middle of the kids' cooking camps. And so those are in full swing. And she has uh, the fall camps that will be coming up in September for right. the kids. So it's an after school program that she does every day. And then what I'm really excited about, though, is our farm tour cooking classes that I'll be teaching myself. Right. Uh, we've already done a couple of them. We did Casey Farm, Windmist Farm, and Jamestown. And now we're moving on to, in August, Matunic Oyster Farm. Outstanding. We've done a lot of work with them. It's yeah. a great place indeed. And what a wonderful opportunity that you have that you afford these people, whatever the age, to yes. sort of dab into the culinary arts. Absolutely. It's a lot of fun. Even a I've big been, kid like me should enroll. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I've been teaching classes for seven years now, ever since I moved from California. Um, so I, I really enjoy it, and it's good fun. Absolutely. Uh, let's go ahead and keep going on our chowder here. All right, I'm going to stand back. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to add some thyme. There you go. We're going to go ahead and add our potatoes. All of them? Yep. So can I you can throw the rest of those in for me? This I can't screw up. Perfect. Or can I? And uh, we're actually going to leave those to the very end. Go ahead and throw in our mussels there at this you point. Are. Oh, and I our put my clams. bicep right in there. Oh, okay. uh, I know, I can't help myself. <laughs> there you go. And our chopped clams. You now, do you just slide the them out right on down there? Slide it right in. Geronimo, down Perfect. they go. Sliced to perfection by yeah. Chef Brendan. Exactly. And you tell me when. Okay, no, it's going to so be last. Not yet. We'll, we'll just finish with those. So, uh, go ahead and throw in our bay leaves here. And we're going to just deglaze with a little bit of dry sherry. I'll let you do uh, that. Oh, no, I'm going to let no? you handle that. Okay. It w might not make it to there. I'd probably toss it back. <laughs> it looks and delicious and smells thanks. great. We'll let that cook down for a minute. And, and this then, Red's Hot Sauce is yours, it is, isn't it? Yes. So Red's Hot Sauce, um, this is actually a hot sauce that I make uh, myself in the Newport Cook's Kitchen. It's bottled there as well. Um, so Newport Cook's Kitchen, in addition to being a cooking school, is also an incubator kitchen right. uh, for local cooks. You can actually throw it right in. All right. Well, so we I have that measured out there. Rapidly running out of time here, but yes. I'll let you continue to finish, and we'll see a nice finished product uh, of this at the very end of the Roadshow today. Deja, thank you Perfect. so much for being here. Thank a you. A pleasure to welcome you, and great to learn all about Newport Cooks. She's here courtesy of yes. Discover Newport. She's going to continue to slave away over this hot stove <laughs> so that we can all sample, but you guys can get the recipe and learn more at roadshow.com.